Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is mockery and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 1. Sambalat was very angry when he learned that we were rebuilding the wall. He flew into a rage and mocked the Jews. The last day I spoke about how the enemy uses mockery to try to stop the work God has called us to do. Today I want to bring a short charge still on the topic of mockery. Some time ago, um, I attended a function. I really enjoyed myself at that function. I met people at the function who were genuinely very funny and I laughed a lot. I love places that evoke laughter and joy, but that's story for another day. Anyway, as I drove home from the function, I heard a portion of Psalms chapter 1 in my spirit. For those who don't know what is in Psalms chapter 1, I will read it for you. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers. When Psalms 1 came to my spirit, I knew I was being rebuked. It sounded like a rebuke. It sounded like the Lord had extrayed my interactions at this function and had found me wanting. So I began to repent immediately while searching my spirit to see when I actually mocked someone. As I reflected, still asking God for mercy, I realized that I sat in the company of people who were jocularly mocking others. These were seemingly harmless jokes and I laughed at them because they were honestly funny. Little did I know that I had displeased God. It was then I began to learn how seriously God takes mockery. God hates mockery so badly that both the mockers and those who sit with them are judged in his sight. Every time I remember this incident, I shudder. I shudder because my temperament is such that I always joke and play with those I am close to. On this day, I didn't even joke. I just laughed and the Lord was displeased. Yesterday, I wrote about how mockery is a tactic of the enemy to delay or stall our assignments. Today, I'm calling for us as believers to not become mockers and one step further, to not hang around mockers. Don't stop the building of others using mockery. The Bible equates a mocker to a wicked person. Many times we don't mean harm, but our intentions are not the only indices for judgment. When mockery gets to the ears of the people that it is said about, it can cause severe pain and hurt. People are going through a lot and we must not, as believers, add to their burdens. If we read Nehemiah 4 and and, and verse 5, you will see that a person who mocks a child of God provokes God himself to anger. May God show all of us mercy. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, today we repent for any time we may have mocked others or any time we may have sat around people who were mocking others. Please forgive us and give us the grace to be mindful about how seriously you view mockery. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.